News 5 has been telling you about the shortage of bus drivers plaguing many school districts. Well, USA Today, uh, they released a survey that says that transportation leaders across the nation, well, 92% say their operations are strained by the driver shortages. 40% say they've had to reduce transportation services to deal with those shortages. So we've been following through on the shortages, talking with districts about what's going on. Yeah, Brunswick is actively hiring for several school bus driver jobs. And this weekend, they're taking a new unique approach to recruitment efforts. Or Mike Holden joins us live from Brunswick with the major hiring event just a few days away and how you can apply. Good morning, Mike. Mike, Tiffany, good morning to you. It's a real hands-on approach. I mean, because you're literally going to be able to test drive the buses just like this. And a little after 6.30 this morning, I mean, they're out in full force getting ready to pick up these kids across the area. They say the process is simple and they can't wait to recruit the next class of drivers. Getting behind the wheel of a yellow Brunswick City Schools bus is arguably one of the highlights of 68-year-old Raymond Kornikovich's day. Parents are great. The kids are, are, you know, really nice. They bring you stuff. They talk to you. It never feels like work for the semi-retired father of two and grandfather of four. In fact, the longtime Brunswick resident knows his route like the back of his hand, and the gig provides the perfect balance for his schedule. For me, I, I love kids. When I leave this job today, I'm going and you know, babysitting my two grandkids. A route might come out to, you know, the northwest part of Brunswick. Brunswick City Schools district officials like Superintendent Jason Niedermeyer are hoping to complete their fleet and hire more drivers for the 4,000 kids they transport every single day. They currently only have 47 drivers on staff. We have a tremendous transportation department. These are really good people. We just don't have enough of them. Niedermeyer says they're actively looking to fill upwards of 10 driver positions at this weekend's special hiring event. Just like test driving a new car, the Brunswick City School District will let you take one of their school buses for a spin in a controlled setting, of course. And no worries here, it's all been cleared through the district's insurance. It'll be at a Brunswick High School. We have a very large parking lot next to our stadium. We have four drivers who will be bringing their four buses uh, out to the parking lot. Niedermeyer says his co-worker discovered the out-of-the-box concept of test driving a bus from neighboring Columbus City Schools, and he hopes prospective candidates will give it a shot. Get them interested, remove the fear, and just see if it's something that they would like. Between an aging workforce, retirements, and career changes over the pandemic, the need is great and the candidate pool is wide open. We really want to get anybody on board and help them find the right fit for them. All right, so who's eligible? Well, you must be 21, have a driver's license, and clean driving record to apply. To be a bus driver here, there's some flexibility with the hours. You, you work a couple hours in the morning, work a couple hours in the afternoon. You did that perfectly. In the meantime, Ray says with a little practice, I couldn't do that with a backup camera. Anyone can do it, and I'm serious. Well, almost anyone. Listen, I'm like the worst driver in the world. I hit a lot of curbs. How do you think I would do at Saturday's bus driving event? <laughs> it, it's a little bit harder because it's longer yeah. and because of the turning radius on them. So I think what Ray was trying to say is absolutely not. Do not put this man behind the wheel of one of these school buses if you really boil it down. But if you think you're the perfect candidate, you can come to Brunswick High School on Saturday. That event runs from 10 o'clock all the way till noon. You can pre-register online by clicking this link, news5cleveland.com and our app. And Mike Brookbank, the big question, what's the starting rate? Well, it depends on experience. It is part-time, around 18 to 22 bucks an hour. But I have to say, like, everyone is so happy and so nice out here. People are coming up to us and waving and talking and I, we said before in the last hit, I mean this makes such a difference for the kids. You have an amazing bus driver, the kids have a great day at school and it's really a fulfilling experience. Yeah and don't sell yourself short Mike. I think you'd be great behind the wheel of one of those big okay. buses behind you. Uh, quick <laughs> before we let you go to maybe practice your driving skills out there. How many people have signed course, up so far? Yeah. Are they generating a lot of interest? 
100%, I have to say maneuverability, never a forte. One time I sideswiped a gas pump, it was messy. To answer your question though, <laughs> now that we have your attention, 22 people have signed up already. District leaders are saying the goal is to hire 10. They'd be content with hiring five. So come on out, do it. I have faith in you, just it, not me. It sounds like Mike should even be behind the wheel of any car, any type of vehicle. <laughs> I've only had one ticket, pump? one ticket the entire life. Uh, it was it was, it was was scary, yeah. We bounced back though, we're good. All right. I won't be parking near him in the <laughs> station parking <laughs> right. lot, that's for sure. All right, Mike, thanks. It's a good idea. <laughs>